Well, Alicia, uh, Chris Barron, Chris Fitzgerald, the Barron County Sheriff, uh, identified that suspect as 21-year-old Jake Patterson of Gordon, uh, held on two counts of, uh, of uh, intentional homicide, uh, probable cause of uh, intentional homicide, one count of, uh, of kidnapping. And as you can see right here, Wisconsin State Troopers are still blocking off the neighborhood where Jamie was found yesterday here in Gordon in Douglas County, northern Wisconsin. Uh, we know from the sheriff as well uh, that Jamie pointed them to the vehicle of the suspect. Uh, it was her description that that helped uh, investigators find that suspect's vehicle and uh, and apprehend that person yesterday. Uh, we also know from the neighbors who found Jamie and called 911. We've been in touch with them. They're still behind the blockade, but I've been talking with them on the phone uh, and the neighbors have mentioned to us that uh, one of them actually taught uh, the suspect Jake uh, Patterson in high school uh, just a couple of years ago and the teachers had a meeting about this this morning. Uh, so they, uh, you know, are, are shocked at this news as well because they knew this suspect uh, and still a lot of questions for them here. Uh, but this uh, neighborhood remains under a blockade. Nobody from the public is allowed in and out. We have seen some investigators going through, sometimes in large trucks, sometimes in trailers, but it's very hard to see what they're doing back there because we're being kept pretty far away. Uh, so the activity is happening well within that subdivision here uh, in Gordon, Wisconsin, very rural area of Douglas County. So uh, we continue to stay here and keep an eye on the developments here. Back to you. Danny, thank you. And of course, our team coverage continues with another live report. Ellery McArdle, she's live in Barron, where a press conference just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago. Ellery, what can you tell us? What did we learn from that? Yeah, well, Alicia, this room was absolutely packed here during that press conference that lasted about 20 minutes or so. And in this room, you could really feel that sense of relief from the sheriff. He thanked the community so many times for their support and doing things as little as just putting up a picture of, of Jamie in the community. Uh, he said that went so far and he said there was never a reason to give up hope. So again, during this presser, the kind of two big takeaways, uh, we learned about the suspect is what Danny was just talking about. Uh, he is being interviewed by detectives and the DA intends to uh, file charges by next week. But for Jamie though, um, the focus here, she is going through a reunification process right now. She's going through a mental and medical evaluation right now, and she will be reunited with her family. But I really want you guys to listen to what the sheriff said as he described his initial reaction when he heard that Jamie was found alive. I mean, it was first unreal, and is it true? And then when we confirmed with Sheriff Dahlbeck's team that it's confirmed it was her, uh, you know, my legs started to shake, man. It was, it was awesome. It was just the stress and relief. I mean, it was just, it was awesome. I don't, I don't have a different word. So again, the big takeaways here, more about the suspect and how Jamie is doing. But there's going to be another press conference at 4 o'clock. We have a crew here who will be covering that. And hopefully we can get more details as to what happened to Jamie during those three months, what it was like for her uh, up in that home, because we really haven't gotten a lot of details like that and, and more details potentially about uh, uh, how she may or may not have known the suspect.